Hello, this is Anna of Anna Live Yoga and welcome to this feel good flow. So we're going to work into a nicely accessible vinyasa and just get our energy moving, get our prana moving and really feel better in 15 minutes. So I hope you're with me. Get anything that you need to, you might make sure that you're in a nice clear open space, that you're nicely hydrated and you've got any support aids that you may need for your practice. So as you arrive, we'll begin by sitting nice and tall in a comfortable position. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. We'll open the space with the vibration of Om. Taking a breath in. Om. So gently bow the head. Take a few moments to check in with your body, your mind your emotions, no judgment, just awareness. As we embark on this feel good flow together, really feel a deep connection with the breath, which of course is the yoga practice. And then take a deeper breath in, exhale and gently open the eyes. So we'll begin with some nice seated mobilization. So bring the hands just to rest in the lap, elbows can go wide. On the inhale, pop the chest forward, gently lift the chin, even look up. And on the exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor around the back and chin to chest. And again, inhale, chest lifts forward, maybe lift the chin, maybe lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck under, round the back, chin to chest. We'll do one more. Inhaling, so already entering a nice flow here. Give some nice mobility. Exhaling as we tuck under. Then inhale, come through to neutral spine. Exhale and just change the cross of the legs. From here, inhale. On the exhale, lean forward and then drift over towards the right side as we begin to circle. So if you grind, inhaling as you round back. Exhale, lift the chest forward once again. Good. Inhale as you round back. Exhale, lift the chest forward. We've got one more circle. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale as you come back to center. Lovely. Exhale and we'll come through to an all fours position. So making your way through. We'll do a few rounds of cat cow in combination. So spread out the fingers and thumbs. If you need to elevate the hands, that's okay. You, know, you can bring the forearms down if you need be. Pad the knees as you need to. So from here on the inhale, belly dips. Shoulders draw back, gaze lifts. On the exhale, top the tailbone like we just did. And sink the sitting bones back towards the heels. Inhale, come forward low, lift the chest. Option to tuck the toes under. Exhale, round the back and sinking back. Feel that stretch through the toes. We've got one more. Inhale, if the toes is too much, then just release it. No problem. Exhale as we sink it back. And then inhale, come through to more of a neutral spine. And exhale, keeping the toes tucked, push back into downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, begin to lift and lower the heels. I'm just opening out the back of the legs. Let the head dangle as you gaze between the heels. Press firmly out the shoulders. Firming the legs. And then inhale, bend both knees. Exhale, reach the sitting bones up and back. So nice juicy joints in this feel good flow. Inhale, bend the knees lightly. Exhale, walk the feet towards the hands. You might need to bend the knees even more. That's fine. Inhale, slide the hands up to the shins. Lengthen the spine. And then exhale as you fold forward, release through the crown of the head. Press into the heels. Inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor as we lift all the way up. And exhale as we come to Tamasthiti. Lovely. Pause here for a moment. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Just feel that elevation through your breath, your energy maybe already. Relax around the jawline. And then inhale, lift the prayer hands up. Exhale, circle the arms back and down. Again, feel free to bend the knees, stay happy, hands to the floor. Inhale, slide the hands to the shins, lift the chest. 
Exhale, as you bring the hands down, step back with the right leg, pat the knee if you need to keep your toe tuck, if that, that's an optional, release it. Knee over the ankle, inhale, lifting all the way up, becoming to Anjani Asana. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back, keeping the knees down, lower the body as you want to tuck the toes through our Chaturanga, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, teeny tiny cobra. Exhale, look to the right side. Inhale to center, pull back on the heels of the hands. Exhale to the left side. Inhale to center. Exhale to lower. Inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, lift back up, tuck the toes. Exhale, pushing back into downward dog. Equalize the breath. And from here, inhale, step through with the right leg, bring the left knee down, pad as you need to. Exhale. Inhale, press through the front heel as we lift up, and Janiasana to the opposite side. Exhale, as we swim the arms down. We're going forward this time. Squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale. See if you can bring the left foot, hip distance from the right foot. Exhale, sit back into Utkatasana, and then inhale, float the arms up. And exhale, coming back to Samasiti here. Lovely. Hands back to prior position. Tune in into the breath. Hope you're beginning to generate a little bit of energy, but do rest when you need to. So then inhale, lift the prior hands up. Exhale, circle, and go all the way down. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, slide the hands to the chins, maybe the ankles if your legs begin to open up. Exhale, this time step back with the left leg, bring the left knee down, optional toe tuck. Inhale, reach up, big open morning stretch. Exhale, or afternoon stretch, or evening stretch, <laughs> release the toes. Inhale, take the right leg back. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in as you lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift into Bhujangasana, maybe higher this time. Exhale, glide the head to look over the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, over the right shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale to lower. Inhale, there's an option here to tuck the toes and lift up into plank or knees down. Exhale, push back into downward dog. Take a breath or two. Remember the breath comes first. You can take a child pose anytime you like. So we'll do the opposite leg again. Inhale, step through with the left leg, bring the right knee down, exhale. Inhale, press through the front heel as we lift, lovely. Exhale, as we fold all the way down, step back. Inhale, roll the elbows in. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, now this time you might lift to an upward dog, but feel free to stay with baby cobra or full cobra. Then exhale as you push back into downward dog. Even out the breath. I'm really feeling that you jive breath through the nostrils. Endeavor to keep the mouth closed. Lovely, from here, inhale, bring the right knee down. Exhale, untuck the toes and square the left foot to the back of the mat. Slide the right hand underneath the right shoulder or bring the forearm down if that's preferable. Then inhale, circle the left arm forward and up. Exhale as you circle back and down, staying in the feel good flow. Inhaling to lift. Exhale, really push down through that right hand into the shoulder. Last one. Inhaling to lift and reach. Exhale. From here, coming to knees down plank or a full plank position, your choice. Inhale. Squeeze the glutes if you're in full plank. Exhale. Lower all the way down through your chatty rounder. Inhale. Lifting. Back bend of choice. Exhale. Pushing back into downward dog. Take a breath. I'm gonna turn around so I can still see you. We change sides. Right above our sister asana. Inhale, bring the left knee down. Exhale, step the right foot back, square to the back of the mat. Check that your bones are stacked. Left hand down, good. Inhale, swoosh the right arm forward and up. 
Exhale, back and down. Inhale, fold and up. Lovely stretch. Exhale, back and down. Just got one more. Inhale, fold and up. Exhale, again, square the pelvis forward, come the knees down plank for full plank position, your choice. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift to back bend of choice. Remember your options. Exhale, push back into downward dog. Ready the breath. And then from here, look forward, inhale, step, juggle, or jump through to seated. Good. Coming back to comfortable seated position. We're going to seal all that energy in, all that feel good energy through yoga mudra or Baddha Padmasana. So from here, inhale, swim the arms back, kind of like a breaststroke. If you have a happy lotus position, feel free to take your toes at this point. Uh, you can stay cross-legged as I am. Just wrap your arms behind your back. That's it. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, begin to fold forward to your own measure. Initially, keep the spine nicely low. Inhale, keep a hold of Mula Bandha. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Exhale, that might be as far as you go. That's fine. Just tuck the chin in and just let go of the head. If you want to go deeper, feel free. I'm going to be able to bring your forehead all the way down. But there's no greater enlightenment down there. So just see. What you need to do in your body, breathing and feeling. And squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale, carefully lift back up. Exhale, come to Padmasana, so straight lines of energy. Tips of the thumbs, touch the first finger. Straighten the elbows, draw the shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, release the chin to the chest. Sturdy breathing. Gaze <clears throat> towards the tip of the nose and beyond, the Nasarai Dristi or the Pinocchio Dristi. And inhale, lift the gaze, exhale, release the hands, just wiggle out the fingers. If you've got breaks, you might now choose to use them. We'll try a little lift up through Utkutihi, which means to lift up. Might be you can't lift up and you just simply engage. Also great, I spent a long time doing that. So you might have the hands on the lowest or the medium setting. Bring the hands as if you would be on the floor, so fingers and thumbs face forward. Inhale, exhale, and just try a little lift. You might be able to lift away from the floor. You might need to come down, that's okay. You might be in and out of that. You might be able to tuck the knees in, possibly lift the feet. So just see what's possible for you. We'll just stay for a few breaths. Good, look forward. Still breathing, try. That's it, still breathing. And exhale, bring it all down. Well done. Circle out the wrists a few times in each direction. Lovely. Bring the bricks to one side and we'll come down for a short Shavasana. If you want to stay longer, feel free. As we come down, on the inhale, bring the knees into the belly, Brahmanasana. Exhale, just have a gentle rock from side to side. Begin to cool down and soften through the shoulders. And then inhale, bring the soles of the feet down. You might stay there in semi supine or exhale, slide all the way up into Shavasana. See what feels best. As you arrive, take a big inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Let everything go as you close the eyes. And take this moment to absorb the feel good prana you created like a sponge. There is a saying in yoga that we're always moving through the vinyasa of our lives, breath by breath, movement by movement, in the now, in the present, to resting here for a short time. If you do wish to stay longer, please do. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. 
and bring in movements to fingers and toes as you move the head gently from side to side. And then on the inhale, take a full body stretch into fingers and toes. Big exhale to let go. And bending at the knees, bending at the elbows, gather the knees in towards the belly for a squeeze, a big thank you to the body. And then just roll over to one side. You may pause for a moment in this feel good energy to plant a seed of gratitude. Anything you're grateful for? Today I'm grateful for the bird song. You might be able to hear that in the background. And then stretching out the top leg, pressing to the fingertips. And on the inhale, just gently lever yourself up to your comfortable seated. So as you arrive, bring the hands back to Anjali Mudra. We'll close again. With the vibration of OM, you may feel some shifts in yourself. Take a breath in. Om. And gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice. Inhale to lift the prayer hands up. And exhale to center. Namaste. So thank you for practicing this feel good flow with me. I hope you're feeling good and set up nicely for your day or your evening. Remember to leave me a comment. Do subscribe to the channel so you never miss the class and have a great day.